Hello, viewers, and welcome out to a brand new Mario Let's Play. And I've been debating back and forth which game I should actually do for the newest Mario game, especially for the month of March, which is technically where Mario Day takes place. Mario, uh, March 10th is Mario Day. And I wanted to definitely have a new Mario series by then, so we definitely got that rock and roll. And yeah, I was between like Mario Wonder, Mario Odyssey, uh, like the new Peach game that was coming out. There's that Mario vs. Donkey Kong. There's, you know, old Marios from like the Super Mario days. There's the new Marios, like the new Super Marios and all that. And so many others that I honestly didn't know where to go with it. Uh, but sadly, I don't own Wonder yet. And I do own Odyssey. And I knew for a fact that I had beaten Odyssey. And I wanted a Mario game that I knew that I felt like I could actually pull off without as much maybe struggles and things like that. But yes, we are going to be doing Super Mario Odyssey. Now, it's still the month of March. It's still going to be, like I said, Mario Days inside March, but it's also kind of we're calling it Mario Month. We're going to have a lot of Mario games in there, so there might be some wonder. There might be some, you know, Super Mario RPG, Mario Kart, whatever have you that will fill this month that will be Mario game, plus those new Peach games and everything like that will definitely probably be joining in this month. So that's take a, you know, check out on the channel. You never know what you might end up seeing, but this is definitely going to be our newest Mario series. Hope you guys are excited. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Now I'm going to go ahead and first load up the game that I have personally played, because I was kind of just curious how many moons I actually have collected. Um, I don't recall 100% off the top of my head how many moons it takes to beat the game, but I know for sure there's 999 moons to do the 100% completion stuff. Which is not what we're going for. We're going for the basic story, not 100% completion. Um, just getting the basic story completed and everything like that. But we're going to go ahead and load up my save, which is this one here. And you can see I have 803 moons out of the 900. So I mean, not, not terrible by any means, but yeah, that's... Hello, I just fell off the map there. All I wanted to do was jump. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's not been too shabby. Um, no, I'm missing some moons that are actually in this level that are currently in. A lot of the stuff with like uh, Toad that gives you, or Toadette, or whoever that gives you like, rewards for doing certain things. Um, well, those are some moons, and then there's a few other secret moons I'm just missing. But yeah, ultimately, this is where I'm at in my actual Mario Odyssey saying Now, it's been a hot minute since I have played Mario Odyssey, I will admit that. But what we're going to go ahead and do is close out of this. Now, I don't... Does Mario Odyssey allow for multiple saves within a file? I guess worse because I can just go here. Start a new game. Might be something I investigate later. I'm actually currently still playing with the controller I've been using for a lot of my other recordings. Now, I probably will hook up a controller that's very similar to, like, the Pro Controller. Uh, just because I feel like it will help me the best. Now, I did debate on this part, whether I went into regular or assist mode. Um, when I first ever played it, I did assist mode. <clears throat> when I played it the second time, I did it without assist mode. Basically, I think assist mode just lets you kind of know where to go a little bit, and I think gives you tentatively a little bit more life zone. I believe it gives you more lies, but that's going to help you get back to where you were faster. So I, I am sadly just going to start the system for me now. Maybe we'll do a normal playthrough um, afterward. I'm not sure 100%, but let's go ahead and start from this Mario journey. Now, there might be a lot of you that have seen all this and watched it maybe a few times yourselves. Uh, but I didn't feel like it would be right to skip the cutscene, skip the stories, do all that type of stuff. So, yes, I will be probably commentating over a lot of what's happening. I still will let everything probably play out for right now. But again, if there's something you guys think that would be better or 
you know, different about this, definitely let me know. But yeah, this is pretty much going to be your normal, just Mario Odyssey play for no, like, Wheel of Challenges like we did for, like, 3D World. No other spikes of difficulty, mostly just because, like I said, I won the Mario game that I knew I could beat, and not feel like I wanted to jump off a bridge while playing it. <laughs> But all these recordings, besides this one, are going to be at minimum an hour long, giving us a lot of gameplay per uh, episode and everything like that. This first one's going to be on a little on the shorter side, just because it's the introduction, just getting us, you know, talking about it, and that way it allows you guys to get feedback to what the rest of the game should be like, and everything like that. Now, I don't necessarily have a true stopping point in mind, but we'll just kind of see how far we kind of get with everything. There could be a thing where I do maybe even a world per episode. I, I'm not sure. Just, I guess, like I said, just kind of might depend on time and stuff like that. Hello. Money was sleeping. All right. Let's see if I still have all my. But you know. Okay, that's how you do it. I didn't know there's a way to roll, I just don't remember how to do it. Yeah. Joke man. Excuse me, Mr. Hatman, please come back. I do wonder if they'll ever do an Odyssey 2. Um, there, I mean, obviously there are Mario sequels for sure, um, but there aren't a lot of them, but this one did have a lot of good story and a lot of points you could kind of go around with, with just especially the capture system and everything like that. But I think, like I said, we've been now, what, seven years of the Switch. The Switch is possibly nearing its end of its life, especially if you listen to all the Switch 2 rumors that keep floating around since probably year 3. Um, that it could be like it comes out on the newest Switch as like an uh, opening title type of a deal. Still the last, because of what we had new Super Mario Bros. 1 and 2, those were sequels to one each other. 3D Land and 3D World not were not sequels, but just had similar titles. Uh, like, it's been since the original Super Mario Bros. days of 1 through 3, since the last time we really had a sequel. I guess Mario Maker did have a sequel as well. No, like, I don't really have an objective through any of these. I don't know if I'm really going to be like trying to hunt out a lot of the secrets or try to collect a lot of coins or. Well, the world coins or things like that. Uh, don't know really what the um, best per se strat is with everything. I do know you need the world coins for say some moons and some of the collectibles and things like that. I believe mostly the regular coins. I don't know what with the regular coins now actually. Like, I would always sometimes just dap into Mario Odyssey just to collect a star or two or something like that or see if I can figure out where something might be hidden. So yeah, it's it's been probably a good at least three or four years since the last time I would have really played Odyssey. So. 
those little fellas in a bit, and this girl already is interesting kind of thing about her, that the Goombas and stuff were already here before Mario got here. Capture system is definitely cool, don't get me wrong. I love the capture system. I just wish they did all like this scene where it kind of showed you like those background images of like maybe telling you that you're kind of learning about the capture spot. Too worried about getting all every tiny bit. Boing, boing. Oh, God. He did no wrong. Stones to keep your progress a little bit and have places you can fast travel to. So, having to start at the beginning of a lot of worlds. The Brutals? Brutals? Is that what their names are? Yep, I was right about their names. Wonder again at these like guys, because now they're like part of the Bowser Mini group. Much like the whatever Kooplings. What y'all? Normal bad guys at three hits. They just pretty much murder their brother. Noomies! Super Mario! Out of sea! Here we go! So that hurts him. Or he's just like, I hate that. I was like trying to think actually which is my favorite kingdom of all the kingdoms. Um I think I don't know. I mean the Dragon Kingdom is really cool. This one's obviously very visually awesome. Um Hello. Don't 
Don't get me wrong, I do believe that Nintendo is due for the near 4K upgrades and all that stuff, but sometimes games like even like this that are in there, you know, whatever, 1080p style or whatever, still look visually nice. I like the way Mario Odyssey does look. I'm not saying it's perfect by any means, but still looks nice. I don't even honestly how I remember I when I first ever played it. I don't remember how I did my playthrough. If I was explorative, if I just went to where the assist mode showed me. I do wish these things in uh, our worlds. Kind of cool. Excuse me. Excuse me. Just walking through my bed. Power move. Sorry, just to chain chop. Excuse me, Mr. T Rex here. Show them through the rocks. I also do like them, they'll just give you kind of slight hints to where they could be. Or what may be required to get them. Spikey goes. I think since like we're kind of just going for uh, progression right now and not, like I said, 100% or, or whatever else you want to have, we'll kind of just keep making our way forward and then kind of go for those secret moons later when we actually kind of more need them. That way we're kind of moving through the worlds a little faster and things like that. Little Mr. Chain Challenge. Explosion. No for a fact, I think it's one of these horns that you do something. Okay. Oh. 
That was not an epic. So I'm back down here. Get off the ledge, please. Out of two moves. I think they didn't do like the old tiny music language or some of these. Something of the thrills. Take your death. Excuse me. Train your chain chomp. In the face. Basically, just walking the doggy. I think how it does make it where you have to click at least one more moon somewhere else. Uh, the multi moon just in case. Excuse me. I had so many weather changes in my local town recently. It's on all my 
sinus is out of whack. We've had days from like 30 degrees, and today it's like up to 70 degrees. Weird. Okay, now the feet of two kingdoms. I'm, I'm trying to think in my. It's definitely got to be with how many moons I have. There's probably definitely worlds that are 100% completed. I don't remember how many I actually. 100% of those worlds in general. I thought Mario was only okay with basically baseball cap style or even slight mail on the trucker. That is a six style hat. It's like this only okay with hat. I do like the travel tips. They're kind of fun. You do get it, I think, like when you get the game, you get all this and the uh, stuff. So you don't have to like press the menu to see it. The sun. Top behind the tower. Oh, right, we have a fishing moment. I'm going to get the checkpoint and get all the story stuff started, and then we'll probably wrap it up, to be honest with you. Like I said, this one's going to be shorter. It's going to be about at least half the. I'm going to go ahead and click the thing, and then the guy. That's dancing. There we go. Okay. But yeah, this is where we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. I hope you guys are excited for Mario Odyssey Adventure. Like I said, if I can definitely get my hands on Mario Wonder, I might throw that one in there too as well because it definitely feels like a game I can definitely accomplish. Uh, and like I said, we're going to have some Mario Let's Plays for sure. Mar uh, like the new Peach game, Mario RPG, the original. Uh, since we did the Switch version. Uh, probably do... Mario Kart for sure, and I don't know whether Mario, Mario Party I think will also be in there. I don't know whether Mario games will be in this month, but definitely stay tuned. We've got a lot of Mario coming for March. We still have our Pokemon stuff as well, so definitely uh, stay tuned for everything. Because uh, next month I think we have our new Pokemon series stuff started. Maybe even this is the last week. Of that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to smash the like button and subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next video episode, whatever it may be. This is going to be the Modern Gamer. Signing out. Cook call.